Y'all, I just had the idea to start this series and I'm gonna do it. Introducing you all to this series that I will call Expensive Blind Buys. And the crazy thing is, these were not even purchases of my own. They were actually blind buy gifts that, in my opinion, are expensive. And because they are expensive, I think it's kind of risky, but I think the risk paid off. So if you would like to see some blind buy perfume picks that were gifted to me, keep watching. So welcome or welcome back to my channel. I am Lauren, AKA Low Soul Natural here in the glorious, beautiful Baltimore, okay? I just like to shout that out because Baltimore gets a bad rap and I wanna put on for Baltimore in the best way possible. You probably could tell from my accent, my voice, to do true boo, whatever. Let me be for real and have a moment of Honestly, I came upstairs because Layla, aka Bubba, is asleep downstairs. I was gonna come up here, tidy up her room, and her room is where I used to like to film because there is natural lighting in here, and the room is a mess. The room is a mess, it needs to be cleaned. But I said, I'm gonna clean it after I record this video because before I could clean it, this video idea came to my mind and I'm literally starting it right now because why not? There is no better time than the present. So just to get into what is this again? So Bubba's dad has gifted me a number of perfumes over the last year and the gifts been gifting, okay? And the crazy thing is, there are a couple perfumes that I have used in layering combos. I've never done content strictly devoted to the perfume individually. So that is why I'm starting this series. And I think it's fun because I feel like it's exhilarating for everybody. Like while I did not purchase these perfumes, I had not smelled any of these before they were gifted to me. In this video, I'm kind of going to introduce y'all to all of the perfumes that I will in the future give y'all individual in-depth videos on, but this is kind of like the lineup to come and y'all can see new perfumes that were added to my wardrobe, but not by myself, by someone else. So Layla's dad knows I love perfume, right? And he likes fragrance to a certain extent. I feel like he likes fragrance more now because I exposed him to more. I'm not saying it was just me, but I'm just saying. If you know me, you're probably gonna like fragrance too because that's what you're gonna talk to me about, right? Okay. And I, of course, gift people in my life with different fragrance and body care products. So more than likely they're collections are growing as well if you are not a current subscriber hit that subscribe button and join the fam i call my family the glow getters so if you want to become a glow getter why do i even call y'all glow getters because i am a low so natural and if you watch my content i pray that you will glow okay so y'all are the glow getters because not only are y'all glowing y'all are getting we're not just saying stuff around here we're doing we got to put stuff into actions. We got to be glow getters, glow getters around here. So I don't want to talk y'all head off because that's something I always do. I am going to just hop into telling y'all the perfumes I have in front of me. The first perfume I was gifted was J'adore by Dior. So I'm not going to give y'all a in-depth description, but I will touch on the fragrance a little bit just because y'all here, right? And I don't know if y'all coming back, so I might as well drop, you know, a little info. But 
the full review will be in another video for each individual fragrance if y'all feel me j'adore by dior is a classy fragrance okay oh my goodness when i first smelled it i'm like this is feminine the day i got it i wore it to church i got this for mother's day last year yeah classy timeless smell like money okay perfect for the spring and summer and this is the og j'adore dior there are other flankers i actually want to smell the new flanker that was released last year but this is the og j'adore i also was gifted daisy dream by mark jacobs this is another spring summer time easy reach the bottle is cute this is actually an auto toilet so i'm not going to really speak on it too much but if you are a fresh fruity floral type of girl daisy dream would be a dream for you now i think daisy dream is probably one of the cheaper more inexpensive perfumes in this lineup but honestly layla's dad bought me perfumes again some of them i never heard of some of them not some of them all of them i had never smelled so he literally is just blind buying but gift wise i feel like that's an exhilarating thing too because i pretty much do that for everybody in my life like i buy stuff that they haven't smelled and just pray that they like it and then the other thing is like if they don't that doesn't hurt my feelings either you can always gift it to somebody else or you can gift it back to me you know what i'm saying i pretty much use anything because i can make anything work right um and that's probably why he continues to buy me perfumes because I've never told him that there are any that I didn't like, which is the truth. It's not like I'm lying. Um, but all of these picks are ones that probably on paper at the time of purchase, they would not have been a pick that I probably would have chosen. I don't know if I would have personally purchased any of these for myself. Probably, I probably wouldn't because the money. I'm not paying that much. This is why I gotta have the preliminary video because I wanna break down all the levels to why this is important. Because first, I'm cheap, so I probably would not have purchased any of these perfumes for myself because i much rather buy a perfume oil or a Arabian dupe. Let's start off there. Not even an Arabian dupe, any dupe. I am not a dupe shamer. I would love, in theory, to support a niche company, but I much rather give my money to the UAE because it's cheaper. But I also have an appreciation for the original scent because we wouldn't have dupes if the first piece was not a masterpiece, right? Y'all following me? I hope I'm not too sporadic. I just want to give all the information. Like, these are perfumes I would not have gotten because of the price and because the price. And the notes, okay? The notes as well, because some of these have notes I would have been like, yeah, no. I'm not buying that for myself. And I'm not blind buying it either. Back to what I was saying, though. He has not purchased a fragrance that, first off, I did not like. I might have smelled one and been like, hmm, I don't know if I would have picked this for myself, but I do like it. That's pretty much what a lot of these, I would say 95% of these perfumes give. They give, I would not have purchased this for myself. This is definitely a purchase from somebody else, but it works because it helps me expand my fragrance palette 
it exposes me to other fragrances of other you know accords and fragrance notes that i would not have picked for myself but i love it because it's like wow maybe i should step outside of my comfort zone more and it helps me build my layering combos and whatnot because i'm not just layering with fragrances from the same you know what i'm saying from the same accord i'm layering ones that are outside of my comfort zone but i like and i didn't pay for i truly hope y'all are following me you know the ones that get it get it the ones that don't won't like if my video is too sporadic for you and you don't get what i'm saying feel free to leave in the name of jesus like i just want my people to watch my videos truthfully like if you're my people then you're my people and i feel like my people will stay okay all right my mom just said happy spring she just texted me and she texted me while i was recording so happy spring to everybody thank you mom thank you for that text because Today is the first day of spring, but technically it's not till like 11 o'clock p.m. But y'all, the sun is shining on me, so I'm feeling the spring vibes. Again, let me get back to this video. Also, y'all, I mean, I can see that my skin is shining and glowing, but if you happen to see the pimple here, or this bump here on my face, and this bump here, I just came on my cycle like it's that time of the month and my skin acts up x up x up when it's that time of the month i feel like if my routine was more on point and i did like face mask you know when i know i'm about to come on my period or when i'm on then you know my skin would be all right but i don't do the extra but you know i stick to my natural skincare products by black owned businesses shout out to goddess of the sea beauty if you shop goddess of the sea beauty use my code lauren shout out to bubbles galore skincare i don't have no code for her but maybe i will in the future go ahead work some mysterious ways i'm going to give y'all a updated skin routine very very soon so be on the lookout for that shout out to Jazara's Couture, shout out to Key Essential Oils. Shout out to all the black businesses I use because my skin would not look the way it does if I did not use phenomenal products all the time. And my skin is not perfect, y'all. Like my skin is not perfect. Y'all see that bump? I have hyperpigmentation because I get bumps every month because of my cycle. And I have a toddler that touches my face very often. So that's another reason. And I don't do face mask like I should. And you know, I wash my face every day, but I'm not even as consistent as I need to be. But I do consistently use the same products. And when I do wash my face, I do the same thing every single day. <sighs> Shout out to Zion Teak Essentials because I've been using a product from them. But we won't go into it. Uh, um, Y'all probably think I got like ADHD. And shout out to everybody that does have ADHD. Like, shout out to y'all. Because I feel like we all could be diagnosed with something, no matter what it is. But my videos, y'all probably think I have ADHD because I'm all over the place. I like videos like this because y'all get a glimpse into my real how i really am um i feel like i'm just having a conversation with y'all which is cool maybe i just need to do my videos like this more often i feel like that's already what i was doing but i don't think i fully allowed myself to really just tap in and just be chill and i love that for me shout out to 2024 shout out to turning 29 because i feel like that is a result of that i'm not saying when i was 28 three weeks ago it's been a major change. I'm just saying it was preparing me for 29 so I could just be like this. Shout out to 29. I'm loving 29 thus far. 29 has been great thus far. I still have struggles every day, but wow. Thank you, God. Y'all like, can you get back to the perfumes? I can. Okay. All right. Okay. 
Um, all right, we got through two. Next up, let's do this one. I was gifted this for Christmas. Serge Luton Shaggy. Serge Luton Shaggy. Y'all. <laughs> If you don't say it like that, when you are saying Serge Luton, when you're saying Shaggy, Shaggy, if you don't say it like that, you're definitely not saying it right. I don't care where I'm from. If I'm from France or Baltimore, every time I read this, I'm going to say Serge Luton, Shaggy. I'm just saying. When I saw this, I'm like, what is this? I feel like I have come across the name in passing, you know, listening to a content creator. But let's also be for real and talk about the type of content creators I watch. I don't watch a lot of big names, y'all. Have I seen them? Yes, every now and then. But when I come home and I turn on YouTube because I want to see something, when I wake up and want to watch YouTube, I'm not watching a big name. I'm watching Vanilla McHale. I'm watching Nika Greenwood. I'm watching Stephanie Chanel. <laughs> you feel me? I'm watching Hanging with Yashika. I'm watching Ben Arlene gloriously. I'm watching Trusses of Alexis, whom I actually met in person. Shout out to you. I'm watching Ben Lakeisha Sexy 40 Plus. I'm watching K Diamo. The list can go on and on because I know I just missed some. Devin Antoine, like, just plain Jane. Like, the list literally goes on and on and on. I didn't even get to the TikTok creators. Like, y'all, I like people like me that are real, that doesn't have to be super aesthetic like we like aesthetic we not just out here looking like anything you know what I mean and shout out to y'all I hope y'all don't think I said y'all looking crazy like y'all don't do nothing no y'all be doing the most but in the best way possible like when I watch trusses of Alexis's videos I'm like can I look like you one day can I even look like you when I get dressed up because it's giving I can't. It's giving I'm basic. But y'all, y'all get what I'm saying. I had no intention to touch on any of this before this video. But we have this. This, I will say, is more of a cool weather fragrance. Definitely unisex. I would not have purchased this fragrance just because it has a hay note. <laughs> what fragrances do you know that have a hay note? Serge Luton Shaggy. Girl, boy, sir, ma'am, auntie. This thing smells good. And I would not have purchased it for myself because it has a hay note. Hey. But it smells so good. I had to drop one note for you because y'all would not understand what I mean when I say, I look at some of these notes of the perfumes he got me and I'd be like, why would you even get that for me? Why would you get me a perfume that has a hay note? I can see you getting that for somebody, but like. Me? A hay note? Like. Cause I guess for me, you would think a man would choose super like feminine fragrances but it's like he does know I'm into it but that still doesn't change the fact that he's a man and you would think he would want to whatever well you, I don't know you know everybody has their own way of thinking but I'm so glad he got this because this smells good and y'all I got a baby dent y'all see y'all see this was this was full full now it's not the most humongous dent because this is a cool weather fragrance and you have to be, you gotta be going somewhere. Cause it smells expensive. I can't wait to do individual videos and 
I'm not gonna do these really in any particular order. Like I might do Serge Luton's next week. I'm not gonna like wait till the fall to do it. But all right, y'all. So the next fragrance, which I can tell y'all right now, this is in my top five at the moment. YSL Black Opium Le Parfum. This right here. I'm telling you, I am not even a big pair person. I don't think I would have blind bought this for myself. Even though I've heard people say it's so good. I like pear, I don't love pear. I like the original YSL Black Opium, but I don't love it. So why would I blind buy the flanker? with a note that I don't even like. Top five for me. Another one. This, I have smelled dupes for, but it's expensive, so I wouldn't have got it for myself. But I love the scent. I almost, I, I mean, I mean, why not? Mm. Why not? Gentle Fluidity Gold by Mason Francis Kirkjohn. Top five. Top five. Let's go to a fragrance I got for Valentine's Day. This is Bond Number no. Nine's Madison Square Park. I mean the box. the box the arabians have it when it comes to the packaging but so does bond number nine <laughs> i mean i'm i mean i mean some bond number nine fragrances have grand designs some are very very intricate Madison Square Park is simple and there's something about the simplicity that just stands out. Y'all. Another one. I would not have bought this for myself based on the notes. I can read y'all the notes because why not? It's like I'm doing something different for each fragrance. Madison Square Park. The main accords are green, floral, fresh, fruity, rose, and fresh spicy. <sighs> Let's get into these top notes. The top notes are grass, blueberry, and hyacinth. Why would I want grass in my perfume? Why? Why? But, Maybe I want grass in my perfume. Because for this, we gonna spray one time. No, we're gonna do it two times so y'all can see. Woo. Maybe I want grass in my perfume. Maybe I do. Obviously. The middle notes are rose and pink tulip, and the base notes are teak wood and vetiver. So we have grass, blueberry, hyacinth, rose, pink tulip, teak wood, and vetiver. Would not have picked this for myself. Mm. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. Not only would I have not picked this for myself, I would not have paid this much for a perfume. But this, and Bond Number no. Nine's fragrances, long lasting. Talk about long lasting, eternal. 
I'm not gonna tell y'all which one, but I had a sample and I literally got in the shower, scrubbed three times, not once, not twice, but three times. And I could still smell it on my skin. <sighs> Y'all, eternal, okay? Spring and summer fragrance, okay? I guess I should have put the card back in the box. Lauren, pay attention. Okay, the next fragrance I got with Madison Square Park and this is Parfums de Marley Delina. Delina, the one ounce. I did not know how cute this bottle would be. This is so freaking cute. It's so cute. Forget about how it smells. Y'all, top heavy, clicks in. Why y'all didn't tell me? I mean, even if y'all told me, I still wouldn't have paid that much for this perfume. But, <laughs> I mean, whew. Mm. perfume that is a perfume I see why this is such a gold standard when it comes to perfumes whether you like the scent or not whether you like it or not you have to respect Delina whether you personally will want to wear it on your body or not you have to respect it you don't have to like it, but you respect it. That is a perfume. I remember I had got a Delina exclusive dupe by Dawkins Aroma Company. And I actually hope they bring it back. It was called Bell Exclusive. Um, I know Dawkins Aroma Company, which is a black owned fragrance business, is having a 40% off sale right now. They're clearing out their cool weather fragrances. So check out their website. Now's the time, but I know they probably will be bringing in their spring and summer releases, but I'm hoping that Bell Exclusive is one of the ones that made the cut. When I first smell Bell Exclusive, I'm like, mm -mm. smells good, but I don't think I wanna wear that. Bell Exclusive was one of the first samples that I finished from Dawkins Aroma Company. It's so good. Mm. And again, I know that's a dupe for Delina Exclusive, but this one, Delina. Mm. And I have Delina dupes, but. Sometimes I understand why you gotta get the OG. Like the dupes are good, but y'all, I have my degrees in social work, degrees, multiple. I have my bachelor's degree in social work and I have my master's degree in social work. I don't know why I'm flipping my hair because I honestly have not been using a degree, but I mean, I got the degree. You can't take that from me. Y'all, I was gonna say, because I have my degrees in social work, I can see everybody's point of view I might not understand it 100% but I can see it like I could see why you want to dupe and I can also see why you want the OG and will dish out that money for it I see both sides okay the next perfume is Hermetica's Sandal Sun and no, we're gonna do a redo, okay? We're gonna do a redo. Hermetica's Sandal Sun. Hermetica's 
Hermetica's Sandal Sun. We talk about how good the Arabian packaging is, but there are some companies that do it and do it well. Hermetica is out of Paris. I ain't never even heard of a Sandal Sun, but the packaging, I mean, it's giving a little bit, a lot of bits. It's just something about it. It's giving. I mean, bruh, it's giving a little bit. Do y'all see that? Let me straighten it up. Okay. Okay. All right, y'all. So I'm gonna spray Sandal Sun on this card. We'll get into the notes in its video, but woo, different. Very different, but so good. It smells chic, smells rich, like a double entendre, like it smells rich, and the scent itself is rich. And I can't wait to do a video on this because, yeah, people need to know. People need to know about it. Now, I don't feel like it's a fragrance that everyone would love. But even while somebody might not like this, I don't feel like a lot of people would hate this. The next fragrance is Bottega Veneta Eau de Parfum. Okay. This one, the bottle. Bottega Veneta. This for sure had fragrance notes that I'm like, yeah, no, not for me. Not for me, not for me. But look at this spray, good sprays. The bottle has genuine leather on it, okay? Like I'm all for saving the animals, don't get me wrong, but leather, leather with a charm. Again, y'all, I love animals, I'm just saying, it's cute. This one, hmm. My first sniff was perplexing because It's so different, but it's almost so different that it's me. Mm. This one is zesty. Grown. It smells like the juice would be dark. That's what it's giving. But it still has this weightlessness as well. Like it smells dark, but it also smells light. How do you smell dark and light at the same time? So perplexing. Kind of like this bottle, like it's light and dark. Does that make sense? Y'all see it? Do y'all see it? It's light and dark. 
the bottle fits the scent and I don't know I don't know why that makes sense but the bottle matches the scent yeah a hundred percent can't wait to talk about that one as well last but not least we have Byredo's Rain de Nuit Extract de Parfum Packaging Giving 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 Aww Bubba's Kitty is here Y'all I would literally go wake up Bubba just for her to see Kitty Sometimes I'll open the window and Layla be like, hi, kitty. Come on. Come on, kitty. Come on, kitty. Layla really thinks that's her cat. I'm not even paying attention. Okay. Y'all. I'm over here watching kitty. Rain de Nuits. They did not slack on the packaging either. But Byredo is expensive as well, so you get what you pay for. This one has some notes that I'm like, I don't know. But that spray. Ooh. Sexy. Sometimes I don't know what sexy smells like because that's all perspective. That's all subjective, but this sexy is woo, woo. People gonna notice you, and the dry down is even better. test you know I did spray gentle for way gold so that might be a fire combo I don't know you know what let me try that because not me just trying random stuff right now because I can that just might be a hit That just might be a hit. Y'all saw it in real time. Rain day in the wheat and gentle fluidity gold. I mean, we're about to go into the spring, but rain day in the wheat and gentle fluidity gold don't say I never told you nothing. I'm just saying. It's actually quite good. Can't wait to talk about this because I need to wear it more to understand it to know is this only a cool weather fragrance or can you pull this off in the spring sometimes you got to try stuff to know for sure hmm. we shall see Y'all, I surely forgot to talk about one perfume. This is Burberry Her, the All de Parfum. I received this for Christmas, December 2022. I can't wait to talk about this. I definitely have talked about Burberry Her in the past in numerous Lair and Como videos and whatnot but this definitely was an expensive blind buy that was gifted to me so i had to talk about it and we'll do a video on this as well i'm sure this video is long enough i'm gonna wrap it up here because i covered a lot of things and i feel like bubba's gonna be waking up soon so if you enjoyed this video please give me a thumbs up drop a comment are you excited for this series? 
let me know. Also, share this video with a fellow fragrance lover because I have more creative content coming for y'all. And please hit that subscribe button if you are not a current subscriber. Become one of my glow getters. I welcome you and Layla welcomes you as well. Y'all, shout out to the 2,700 of y'all that are currently subscribed. I just hit 2.7K like yesterday or something like that. And I am excited about it. I get excited every subscriber. Every new subscriber that I see, I get excited. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Okay. But we're on our way to 3K and I'm gonna be doing a 3K giveaway. So the sooner we get there, the sooner we get a giveaway. Thank y'all so much for watching. I love you guys. Hundreds of blessings, they coming, they coming my way. Hundreds of blessings, they coming, they coming my way.